After an entire trilogy of videos about making DIY magnetic stirrers to rinse my resin prints, I finally broke down and bought a Creality UW02 resin wash and cure station. Now the selling point is supposed to be that these things are plug and play, ready to go out of the box. Yeah, about that though. My last magnetic stirrer video, I ended with something that's actually pretty darn solid and works really darn well. So why would I go out and buy the Creality UW02? Well, quite simply, uh, my Creality Halo Light has much too large of a build plate, and I cannot fit that inside the containers I already have for my magnetic stirrers. So I figured this is a good time to go out and spend some Christmas and birthday money on a useful tool. Isn't that your nickname in high school? Hello! One of the big draws for me on this particular model is the fact that it'll natively hold the build plate for my Creality Halo Light. Since that is my new main medium format resin printer, pretty darn awesome that I don't need to print any adapters or anything else to just fit that build plate directly into this machine. Now, I'll show you some specs, but listen, this is a quid pro quo system, okay? I show you the specs, you hit subscribe. All right, we're running on the honor system. Here's the specs, so hit that button. Now you're ready to see some unboxing? I definitely did not have enough isopropyl alcohol to fill up that container on this thing. And considering I knew this was showing up and when it was going to be here, maybe I should have thought of that. Now, I ended up using some water just for testing purposes to get everything up and running. And then later I did go out and buy some mean green a la Uncle Jesse, but I didn't even buy enough of that. So, oops. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I did not think this through. But hey, it was time for a test and it did not go well. That sound is not normal. That is a horrifying, terrible sound for a brand new magnetic stirrer to be making. And I couldn't tell you what it was. I, I operated under the assumption that surely I must be doing something wrong, right? I mean, it can't be this brand new magnetic stirrer because, hey, you spend $200 because it's supposed to work out of the box, right? So I thought maybe I don't have enough liquid in there. It's not providing enough resistance to that turbine. And as a result, the motor's spinning too fast and it's just getting out of sync. It kind of makes sense, right? But I filled the thing up with liquid and what do you know, I have the exact same problem. Okay, so it's not that. Maybe there's a mechanical issue internally. Something's loose or um, wrong on the inside. I don't know what it is, but something inside, right? 
Well, but then it would switch between that bucket of liquid uh, over to the turntable and the turntable would spin just fine. So, I mean, it can't be something internally, right? Look, I spent over an hour just banging my head against the wall, trying to diagnose this sound, this problem, and I got nowhere. Now that sounds broken. I had a few moments, very brief, of success. I gave some choice words and hand gestures to this machine. You piece of shit. And then finally decided to just step away from it. I had to walk away for like an hour to calm down. I'm on break. After a short break to lower my blood pressure, I came back with a clear head. And I decided that I was going to do a little bit of surgery on this thing. I correctly assumed it would only be about 8 to 10 screws to get that top deck off of the machine and get inside. And once I was in there, I noticed that stepper motor was mounted to nothing. There are two little screws that are supposed to hold that stepper motor to the bracket, and those two little screws were just chilling in the bottom of the case, all loosey-goosey, just hanging out. I don't know how to feel about this thing. On the one hand, I'm glad that it's an easy fix. It took me less than five minutes to get this thing up and running the way that it should have been out of the box. But on the other hand, it's 200 bucks, and the motor in there is just chilling, all hanging out? What's the deal? Now, to be clear... I did not buy this thing directly from uh, Creality's online store. I bought it from Amazon, and it did come sealed with Amazon tape, meaning, who knows, somebody might have opened it before it came to me. But I doubt it, because everything in there looked brand new when I was unboxing. Whatever. I also know that screws can kind of work themselves loose in shipping and, and potentially even fall out. And You know, this thing did ship all the way from China. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows anything? Now, once it was closed, I filled it up with Mean Green, and I was able to test it out with this partially failed vision model that I was able to slap on there on the build plate still. It rinsed it just fine, and of course, it cured it just fine. But look, that's the bare minimum expectation of what this thing is supposed to do. It just did its job. That's it. This is literally the least you can do. All right, so final thoughts. Should you buy a wash and cure station? I don't know. Do you really think that you need it? When it comes to rinsing your prints, a DIY magnetic stirrer is cheap and it's easy and it works pretty darn well. And failing that, you could just buy the $20 magnetic stirrer from Amazon. That also works just fine. In fact, if you want to spend literally nothing, take some Tupperware containers, put some isopropyl alcohol in there and just kind of shake them up gently with your print inside and that'll rinse them just fine. All that works. When it comes to curing your prints, I mean, you could build your own curing station, which is probably pretty darn simple. You get some aluminum tape or some uh, aluminum foil of some kind and coat the inside of a container, put some UV LED light strips in there, and Bob's your uncle. You're done. That's it. Leave it in there for a little while. Or you can go out and buy one of those $40 to $60 curing only stations, like the one that I bought from Sovel for about 50 bucks. I've been using that for almost a year, and it's just fine. So why do these products exist? Why would you go out and buy the UW02? Why would you buy any wash and cure station? Well, for one thing, size. This thing is gigantic and it has the ability to rinse, as I mentioned, my medium format prints off of that uh, Creality Halo Light. That's a big benefit to me. But also, it's just a single thing on my desk. And I should mention, it looks good on my desk. It belongs there with the rest of my printers. It just seems to fit in. Also, when it comes to those UV LEDs, they are brighter and they cover a wider spectrum than the ones that I had in the Sovel station before. Cool. But look, to be very clear, this is not a necessity. It is a luxury item. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of luxury from time to time, though. I just wish that my luxury items came with all the screws properly screwed in tightly. Is that too much to ask? This sounds reasonable. Uh, that sounds reasonable to you. All right, I'm on my way out of here right now. This is the end of the video. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, why don't you hit that button below to become my favorite viewer of all time. Now, until next time, bye. This thing looks like a little, like a little pirate sword, like a little, yeah. Quid pro quo, that's how it's gonna work.